Hey book nerds, it's Ethan here with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a book review on The Order of the Majestic, book two, The Lost Kingdom by Matt Miklos. Now first, let's write this book. On a scale of one to ten, I'm going to give this book a ten out of ten. This was easily the best in the series so far. And, um... You know, after reading book one, where there was a lot of conversations and it was very slow with a lot of story building, this one surpassed it and it made the series better. And what I mean by that is that, like, there was so much action in this. Like, it felt like I was reading a Marvel cinematic script. That's how good this was. There was a lot of adrenaline scenes and non-stop adventure so now let me give you a summary of the book so we follow joe Kapeki and his two uh medicine assistants shazad and um leona and in this one they have to go on this magical mystery tour to try to find these different magic artifacts. Now, the reason why they have to find these artifacts is because if the invisible hand, a bad organization, tries to get their hands on these, they can become very powerful and destroy the world, meaning that they could break in to the Majestic Theater. So, um, they travel to all sorts of places, embarking on a perilous adventure. Some places they go to is Transylvania, home of the famous Count Dracula. Uh, and, that, and that was a very cool sequence, I thought. Very unique by Mr. Matt. Um, they also went to outer space. Very cool. As well as Camelot, where King Arthur and Merlin the Magician lived. Now, Zoe, uh, you know, he has a very big burden on his shoulders. You know, um, he wants to live up to Rinaldo's expectation. And, you know, after his death, he really feels like... He feels like it's his responsibility to bring back, you know, the legacy of this old magician. And, you know, in book one, he lost Houdini's wand. And many people are blaming him because of that. And he also lost the map in here. So, yeah. Uh, he is kind of not very good at organization, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and he has some very, you know, good friends. But also some very jerk friends who are not very nice to him. So... Another sequence in this novel that I found very enjoyable was in the beginning when there was like a battle. Uh, it was between the trio and some of the members of this dark society. Basically, they had to face off Scarlet. And her ability is that she is an artist. So she has, this, she has these magical paintbrushes. So like if she has a canvas, right? She can paint any picture and it will come to life. Then we have the corporate leader. His name is D. Main. And he uh, has this powerful gauntlet, kind of like Thanos, as well as this strong metal suit, sort of like Iron Man. And when I, um, you know, was like reading the first 20 pages... Um, I was, like, reliving Avengers Endgame. Like, that's how good it was. And, you know, this book is very underrated. I went on Amazon, and it only had, like, what, 30 reviews? So, you guys have to check this out. But before I end this review, let me just say that there was a huge plot twist at the end. It turns out that their next destination on the map is to the imagination. So that means that in book three, 
the new world, Jack Blank is going to make a appearance. Now, I have never read the Jack Blank series, um, but I know a little bit about it, so um, I think it's going to be kind of nostalgic to uh, witness him being in the next excerpt. But yeah, guys, uh, that is going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on another video. Peace.